we've just come down to uh, High Bay to have a look at the sea. We might try and have a couple of hours fishing tomorrow. We're at the uh, Swoo Pool at Hive. One of the uh, spots better known for flatfish. I'll try and get this microphone somewhere where I can get you. That's it, it's better. Parking's not too bad, you can park out on the road then you just walk up through the back of the swimming pool up these set of steps A friend of mine, Rob, I think he's down here fishing so we'll go and have a look see what he's caught, if anything High time was about an hour ago Cafe, so we can get a cup of coffee. I think this is Rob along here. Been along the Princess Parade and I couldn't see him, so uh, I know he's got an igloo, and this is the only igloo on the beach. See today, nice and calm. Colour should be dropping out of it, just ideal for the old place. This is what they call the Western Parade. Fisherman's Beach being a bit further up but where you can see the Martello Towers. See the range boat out in the distance. That means they're firing on the ranges. Is that young Rob? I thought it was. How are you Rob? You alright? I was looking for an igloo, I saw you post on the old Facebook, I thought oh, I'll go and find the old boy, of course there's no igloos that way and no igloos that way, so. Yeah. Any good? I'll have one small one. One small place? place. Yeah. Uh, had a 30 centimetre version just now. Did you really? I don't know where that comes from, the dogfish. Oh, so you've had a bit of sport? Yeah, I've had a bit of sport. I didn't get here till after nine because I had to wait for the best buddies to open yeah. you know, get some love. Because I had some left over from the Foster match on... Um, oh, on CT3. Yeah. That was a nice little hound you had there. Yeah, I won that match. Did you really? Yeah, I had two hounds. Well done, you. Conga. I managed to get me 15 dogs. Really? Right at the last minute. Right. Um, because Phil was saying that uh, the Folkestone Club will have all their comps on there now, are they? Yeah, this year, yeah. Good idea, really, because, yeah. I mean, the beaches are not great, are they? No, but, I mean, Martin, um, sorry, um, Ray Coyne came in this morning, actually. Yeah. 
Hopefully we've been speaking to the people on the pier, both of them. Yeah. You know, and if we, as long as we've got club insurance, we can sort something out for a small fee. So. Yeah. But um, for this year, I think we just go as we are, you know. Yeah. But folks up here, they've really cut you down in, in actual fishing Well, yeah, distance, but I mean, they? like, we'll probably only use it for the pier festival. Yeah. And the Christmas fair, so hopefully, because it's not busy out there, they let Get away with it. Lot, yeah. A lot, lot of the day at the end is, is terrible. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, the, uh, that, that CT breed, though, is yeah. something else, you know, the amount of fish that comes up. I think there was, um, I think it's a con with about 15 pounds on the top. A lot of eels there, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, lots of eels. A lot of eels. And I think there's a big hound loss, a double figure hound loss up the top. Really? As well. But, um, so I fished it with Alan and Johnny Wells last year, and we was only mucking, mucking about, and he had uh, a bass on the old float fish ragworm and a yeah. few wrasse doggies. Yeah. yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. Well, we, we limited to 15 dogs with the view that. You can use two rods. Yeah. You either have one rod with three hooks on, or uh, two rods, one with two hooks. Yeah. And one down the wall. Congress, but there's so many of them there. Yes. Yeah. If you tap for, I think you drop five. Yeah. But there's only little. Yeah. Little, little things. Um, Thing is, as well, Rob, it's, it's one of those places where I, mean, I was talking to Richard Yates, and he said all he takes when he goes is squid. And he'll fish whole squids, down or out, and then either get congers or dogs. Yeah. You know, so really it's quite a cheap day as well, well if you is, want it to be. It is, and in the, fight, the first match, he had five congers he weighed in. Yeah. And he went down to the nearest the lighthouse. And yeah. He there, and he just fished squid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Mickey Jackson, was, he couldn't get them out. You know, I think he, he was saying, I think the bait, because his baits are massive. Oh, they don't muck about. It's too big. Like yeah, he don't he, muck about. His hooks, I don't think the fish could take them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you're fishing for a big eel, really, aren't you? you know? But it is good fun. Because yeah. Once you've got them dogs, it just, just means that you can go down the wall for yeah. herring or yeah. pollock at the right time of year and just bits and pieces. Because that's the lovely thing, it's a great mixture there, isn't it? Yeah. And you're never quite sure what's next, you know. It's, no. It's well, there was a there was a cauldron there, right in front of us. It had a herring in its mouth. Really? They caught a herring, and the herring was flapping around. So you know, incredible, isn't it? You see things down there, you know. I mean, apart from all the faff of getting in and, and all that malarkey, it's 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 lovely down drive your car up, and it, you you know I'm going to worry about getting wet. No, exactly. I mean, it's a bit chilly with that easterly wind. I bet. But I'll put I'll put my um, trolley up on the railing. Yeah. I was sat in there, it's perfect all day. Yeah. And the sun came out later on and the wind dropped right off. It was it was nice. You know? Yeah. It was nice. Well, considering yesterday, I mean, we had a freshwater competition up at the little lake at Eagate. It never stopped raining, Bob. Yeah. From the moment we got there, 8 o'clock till 3 o'clock, never stopped. Well, Mickey Taps went out fishing down here with a group. I can't remember who they were with. Yeah. I think it's the um, group from, I think it's the Flounder League. Yeah. You know. Um, and that was yesterday? Yeah, I think Mick came somewhere. Yeah. Like that, but that was on the, down here somewhere. <coughs> I didn't bother coming out. Oh, sensible, sensible people yesterday didn't move because it was horrid. Yeah. It really was nasty. So I, had a, I had a bit of bait left yesterday. Yeah. And I went to um, Best Buddies this morning. We got a bit more because I only had a score. And um, yeah, I thought I'd. Come down here yeah, give it a go. The weather. Uh, I spoke to Martin Humphreys earlier. Yeah. He said we're down at Hastings. He said, why didn't you come down here? I said, well, I only had sort of. It's a long way to go with a little bit of bait and yeah, the I hope know. you can get some. Well, I had 15 worms there. And I had to wait for Best Buddies open at 9, so there's no way I'm going to go down there. Yeah. You should have let me know because he's, he's, he's pumping it as a living now. Is he really? Is it him? Yeah, so I don't know if he stopped brick laying or what, or what he was doing. But yeah. He, said, he should, should have let them know, but I got some. I said, well, I didn't know you were... No. You were doing it. He said, yeah. Interesting. So, um, he said, we're down at Brighton. I said, how are you getting on? He's, he'd had 12 places. Yeah. Up to 42. Really? They just won't come around that bloody corner, will right. they? And Becky Lee, I think, went down there last week, and she had 20-odd. Yeah. You know, down at the banjo. I went down here last year, it's a good, good spot, clean beach. Yeah, it's quite ironic really, the whole, the whole 
sea fishing situation changed, Rob? Because you go back to the 70s, 80s, I mean, when the, this was full of fish, yeah. you wouldn't have gone to Hastings if they paid you. No. Because there was nothing to catch, was there? No. And it's completely changed. Well, not, um, you don't say Hastings, they're down at Brighton. Yeah, Bright, yeah, but that sort of way. Yeah, but Hastings, I mean, I've fished a few times in the five-man team thing. It's always a struggle. And it's... Yeah. yeah it's one of them places. I think there's been a few fish coming out in the last couple of five-man team matches. Yeah. I mean, last year, me and a couple of lads went down to Langley Point, and that was lovely, because the parking's easy, it's easy to get onto the beach, and, and the fishing was great. They had a few little plays, nothing big, right. but uh, they sort of, their seafront is, is really catering for the angler and the dog walker, and, yeah. you know, you, you can park easily, not like down well, here. I haven't been to Langley Point. I mean, uh, it's supposed to be a really good soul spot. Yeah. It's basically, I mean, you, if you shut your eyes and, and then open and you think you was on the ranges up the Redoubt end. Oh, That's right. what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that sort of mixed broken ground. Well, I've seen a couple of videos, you've got all the rocks there. And the yeah. And that and, um, I went down there for the undulate rays a little bit further around. Yeah. I didn't get one, I got an 11 and a half pound conger over there. <laughs> that was a bonus. I bet. Oh, we've got some of yours, I'm whiting. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to see many of them today. No, especially 30 centimetres, crikey. Yeah, that was a surprise. Yeah.